here he is. Matthew Perry has finally made it to Auckland. Franz was always going to hit New Zealand at some point. And now, 17 envoys. Hang on, let's just double check what this says. Grants enough envoys to become suzerain of the city-state, then removes all other player envoys. That is 17, 16, 7, 7, 6. At a very brief count, I make that to be 53. So, bam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh yes <laughs> okay that's gonna piss off a lot of people and i have a feeling auckland may die very very soon but that of course is not my problem oh schrodinger triggers eureka moment for three random technologies oh, now you see do i want to do i want to risk going for someone else I don't know, let's go for an aid request. I have to be involved in that aid request. I need to see what's going on because people are very close to diplomatic victories and I don't like it. Oh no, actually it's an aid request for Teddy. That's okay. Get out of my land, you freaking zombie! Oh my god, I'm so bored of this now. It's not that I don't enjoy games like this. It's just that I am absolutely done with zombies. Like, I am... I am spent. I am... I am... I am... Yeah. <laughs> yes. I am yes. I am just totally yes. That's that's what this is. I've lost it. I've gone. This is it. My favourite thing about this entire playthrough, though, is my fairly useful Great Wall that I've genuinely been using to keep zombies out. I've never felt more historically Chinese and Civ before. And my dam, as I was saying that, just blocked a flood. Oh my god. I am Civ-ing Civ through its nose. This is like ultimate meta Civ going on here. You all should be very proud of me. Very, very proud of me. Oh, 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 zombies, zombies, <laughs> zombies, yes. How strong are they? They must be getting strong now. 50 mutation strength. Okay, it's not going to be enough, but look, there's like two per tile over here. And they're just going to keep coming back and back and back. Uh, and every time I do it, I get to level up again. Time to complete all missions reduced by 25%. Yes, thank you so much. I'm finally laying a railroad through my empire so that when zombies do appear, my field cannons can get shifted from one side to another really quickly. It actually will make a big difference here. Do I just go for Schrodinger or do I... Oh, I don't know. I think I might... I'm going to gamble here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not pick up Schrodinger and I'm going to hope that I pick up the scientist that gives you Eurekas on everything. Because that could be amazing. I mean, he is good, Schrodinger, though. Three random technologies from the atomic or information the era. Well, here's the atomic, and I haven't even got there yet. And information, so he's so far beyond. But I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Let Greece get him and go, and go to the next one. I think it's worth it. Oh, Grace. Grace is amazing as well. Two, three techs. There's no way I'm getting her. But still. Connected by railroad. Everyone wants to visit uh, Sir Ryan's Railroad. Actually, I might just put a railroad through the Great Wall. That could be fun. Does it actually... No, it puts the railroad underneath the wall. Do you see? I was really, really hoping there that it would go on top, like <laughs> across the railroad. Could you imagine? Could you imagine a better world than that? Oh, rocketry. All right, how much aluminium have I got? I've got some under that campus. That is good. That means I can actually have planes for you. Let's just double check if there's anywhere else near me. No, the Kemens have some well into their land over here. And the zombies are getting eaten pretty quick, unfortunately. We're just going to keep doing it because it's fun. Yeah, the best bit about this is that they're being forced to kill the zombies, which is making them stronger and stronger and stronger. So hopefully, the more I do this, the worse it'll get for them. They do have fighters, which is a little bit annoying. They're already up to 51 mutation strength now. Okay, it's fine. Stephanie. Stephanie is up next. Okay. She would be good. 100% production towards space race projects. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So we're not unfortunately getting uh, the engineer at the moment, but we are doing projects. I'm going to see if I can rush him. It would be amazing if I could. So this is the test. Using the railways to make their way down and through my lands. It's uh, so far not really working because I didn't put railroads down this far south. But that's okay. Oh, never mind. Okay, production. I'd like a discount on that, please. Thank you so much. I'd also love it if we could chop down woods. That'd be cool. 
and I'd love it if America lost Diplo points. I really would. I'll put three votes in that, not that it really will mean anything. Um, bom ba dom ba dom bom 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 bom. Let's try that. Let's see what goes through. Pericles has got two points. You absolute... Oh. Why would you do that? America's now sat on... Okay, they're still sat on 15 points, admittedly, but still. Oh, I just got 174 points in one turn there. Okay. We are rushing these industrial zone projects. They're taking a while. But we, we might just pull this off. Okay, 50% chance of a zombie outbreak. Let's do it. Why the hell not? I mean, I know why not. My spy's going to get captured and I'm going to get hated for it, but... Oh! Oh! The Aztecs have just gone to war, have they? No. They've gone into the land. Okay, they've got open borders. I was going to say, that would be really, really strange, but the Camons do have... Yeah, they're, they are friends with them. Oh! Hello! Okay, the, the Camons declared a surprise war against me. Well, that's intriguing. Okay, well clearly they were they were actually annoyed about the fact that I couldn't I wouldn't give them a, a a culture victory. Sorry, a religious victory, but this is a good opportunity. Hang on. Research Alliance with America. Will you join in with this war? Yes, they will. Okay. Perfect. Anyone else is gonna join in with this war? The Aztecs, I really need you involved here, but unfortunately Pericles and Rome are not going to treat with me. So my big problem, apart from the fact that my entire army is absolutely naff. No, my big problem is the fact that my city walls are really weak because I actually don't have a particularly strong troop keeping everybody safe. So that, that is not good. I need to just make sure all my religious units are kind of safe in cities right now so that I can sort of move everyone about. I'm just going to move you to there. My city attacks are quite strong. So that, that bit is fine. It's just, um, just everything else, really, is the problem. How good are these battle elephants? They're okay. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. Fine. Well, our well, field cannons are powerful. We just need to actually build them a bit faster. Uh, production. Units are 50% faster to build right now, so we can, we can build a couple. I'm building a field cannon army over here. We should be fine. Like, I'm pretty sure we should be fine. I'm just saving my thief right now to get Stephanie in. I really, really want this engineer. Rome has just got so many engineer points coming in. It's crazy how many points they've got coming in. Like, of, of, of both of them, he's the one I want because I can use his ability twice because I've got the mausoleum. But Rome are going to pick him up before I can, which is really frustrating. Anyway, um, oh no, spies are still throwing... <laughs> I'm still putting zombies into their lands. So that's fun. Oh yeah, that's a master spy. He's doing good. Well done. Well done, friend. Now please stop just giving me really weak attacks. I just realized I can build the aerodrome. Let's get a couple of fighters involved here. They will love that. Oh, unfortunately, this this zombie just about survived, which is really, really annoying. Oh yeah, and god, their um Dombres do a huge amount of damage. No one Yeah, it just oh, it just chumped one of my traders. That's so annoying. 84% chance of a zombie outbreak though. Hee 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 hee. Don't leave your units in the sea. That's not going to be a good thing for you. Okay, perfect. We've knocked out the first bank of army. I would quite like it if you actually respected your proper friends. Oh, hello. Join ongoing war. Yes. Oh, military ally and the Aztecs have just turned on their old friends. Oh, Kemens. You have been diplomatically outmaneuvered there, my friends. Well, I like it when you can do this. Move a field cannon in and use a regular one to take down an army. Three era score. Lovely. Actually, if we keep doing that, the Kemmons will accidentally give me a golden edge, which I'll take. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, go by foot. Oh dear, he was killed. <laughs> Whoopsie. Ignore that. He was, um, oh, actually, I think he may have actually succeeded in his project, which is quite amusing. So. You know, small victories. And the good thing for me is that the Aztecs are now deploying 5,000 military strength against the Kemans. So that's going to be relatively amusing. And also, do you see how they're moving across my Great Walls? And their troops just keep killing themselves. So my Great Wall here is just doing amazingly. Another success. More spies. More zombies. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get Werner, unfortunately. He, Roma just got crazy levels of engineer points per turn, but I can get Stephanie with Velvet Faith. Perfect. Sagan would be a good option for me, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over now. So industrial 
zone logistics. That's all good, but my capital needs to get in a spaceport. I'm going to put it on production focus as well. I'm going to get all of my traders coming in there. Let's get a military academy. That's good. And then more trade. Good. Perfect. Um, Stephanie will boost the projects quite nicely. We'll get Pingala leveled up so that he can get space initiative. The chances of me doing this, by the way, are slim to none, seeing as Teddy is uh, is now doing the last project, which is a bit of a problem, but, but never mind. Oh, Rome have giant death robots. Are you at war? America's at war with everyone, and there are giant death robots in the country. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, love to see it. Hopefully that's not my population. I oh, know I did just lose a tiny bit of population map from that volcano, but that's okay. That's just a regular unit. Doesn't matter who kills that one. And we'll get you into there to go. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Actually, we'll field up. That's a good idea. Make another army out of that field cannon. I was wondering what to do with that one, actually. These zombies are getting very, very strong now. 57 mutation strength. Okay, this is good. Oh, cheeky. I just got culture bombed again. Again. Luckily, there's a district in the defense town that can't be stolen, but still. That was uh, that was almost entirely inappropriate. First bomber, though. We're going to start actually doing a bit of damage to the uh, Kemen cities. So if I can just take this 14-prop city, God, that would be a good pickup for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Foot is always the safest option. Oh, thank goodness he actually escaped, but there was more. More stuff just got done? Okay, I don't even know what he did. What did he do? He did some... Oh, and he, he got rid of the governor from Angkor Wat. Oh, yes. I did a petty thing. Now I remember. <laughs> oh, that was fun. What oil have I got? Oh, there's some oil in this random sea tile. Yay! I've got one oil. I love small empires. They're the best. They're not the best at all. They're terrible. Uh, actually, oh, my Inquisitor. Oh, I can use you. You're going to be really helpful. Um, okay, no, I thought you'd be able to see a bit more from that direction. What about from this direction? Dump bomb. Yes! Perfect. Perfect. Now, what are their air defenses like? Have they got any? No, they do not. And I get the Defender of the Faith Belief as well. Amazing. Second bomber complete. Nice. Okay, that's good. We've got full... Uh, aerodrome now. I've only got two aluminium per turn coming in, so I don't really want any more, annoyingly. It'd be good if I could have more, but I can't. Um, bombard army. I just don't have enough nitre, but if I get myself uh, a couple turns of that, I can sort of build up to that one. So you can, what you can do is you can start making a core. If you get more nitre in later, you switch to an army and it actually saves all of your progress. So you just effectively add to the project you were doing before. Which is nice. And I've now got two bombers coming in per turn, which is good. Seeing as I'm uh, really struggling to do any damage here. Give myself Wars of Religion. That'll help. That will massively help just to put the pressure on. Just a tiny bit more. Any <laughs> any combat strength I can take, honestly, will do good. And seeing as the world uh, follows this sort of heathenist Buddhism. I, I mean, I don't know. How, how would the zombies know that I hate them if I'm following Buddhism? I, I don't get it, personally. But... There they are. They're doing their thing. Here is an information era age. Oh, are we going to be able to get something fun? Can we get something fun from this? What is this one? Automation warfare is an option. Right. Do we want to do that? Or, or do I want to do Eureka's Thought, Satellites, Nuclear Fusion, and Nanotechnology? Oh, 100% XP for all air units. Aluminium is plus two. I'm going to have to do that. It feels like such a shame because giant death robots are, are really good. But, I mean, now I've got the boosts. Yeah, and now I can generate more aluminium. But, oh, I mean, I, I think that's the way to have gone. I may have made a huge mistake doing that. But it, it, right now in my head, that feels like the option. I mean, unfortunately, what's probably going to happen is that uh, Kemen's, yeah, they were in a heroic age, so they now have a giant death robot somewhere, probably. Oh, Defender of the Blur Faith, though, and the Wars of Religion cards, they really do stack nicely. So let's just see. I'm making a core, but I can switch it to an army, and it keeps the production. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a nuclear submarine that the Kemen's have just launched at my capital, which is doing a lot of damage to it. Okay, yeah, my, I only have ancient walls in most of my cities because I'm so weak. <laughs> I'm so weak, it's it's tragic. Oh, never mind. Field cannons, you can shoot a nuclear submarine, right? <laughs> no? Okay. What about bombers? 
Can you do it? Yeah, bombers can do it. They're much better at doing it. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to have to double bomb because I do not want anything happening to my capital. Oh, it did it. Okay, perfect. Didn't even need both of them. That's, that's even better. No, we're not having peace. Giving me one gold. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Would you like one gold? This will be enough to get me off your back. No. No, you're going to have to offer me a lot more than that, friend. He says with gritted teeth, friend. Now that I have ideology, the question is, what do I do? And I think communism may actually be the best one for me. Getting collectivization is a good thing, but also the extra production and science will help me just to rush these projects through. Turns out the Cummins have multiple nuclear submarines. It's not good. My walls of Byzantium are now officially gone. Um, but... I mean, unless they bring a melee unit to the party, I think I'm okay for now. So we're just going to grit our teeth and go, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Oh, I keep leaving my Inquisitor there. I'm so sorry, friend. Uh, you're going to die one day through my negligence. Literally my negligence and no one else's. Where's my other bomber? In you come and kasploosh. I can move you to there. Oh. I feel like it's so close, but it's not quite there because I need my cavalry to be able to run in and my cavalry is very weak. I mean, it says, it says that it should be okay. So shall I gamble it? Shall I gamble it? it I mean, let's do it. Why not? Oh, for goodness sake. Nope, nope. Mistake. Mistake. Bring a musket in. We're going to lose that cavalry, but never mind. What are you going to do? Actually, you know what? It doesn't have any... There are no ranged defences around here. So, garrison health 1. Do you see that? 1 out of 200. Come on. Let's see what the Kemen revenge is. They're just going to keep shooting my capital. They're going to move some units in to kill that cavalry. Blockade us. They've got pretty strong ranged defences. Bam! Okay, the field cannon was just steel. annihilated in one go. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. There's steel though, so I have a little bit more defences than I did before. That's cool. Reduce this to zero health. Perfect. I can pillage, give myself a little bit more health, and then the cavalry can come in and take it. Yes. Knowledge of synthetic materials has advanced considerably, as well as totalitarianism. Okay, 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 okay. And this is the thing. Am I going to just, like, science my way through, or do I actually need to... I think I need to go fascism. I'm thinking about it, and yes, the production science is good, but the combat strength, that will make a huge difference, actually. If I can do that and then just actually blow them to bits. There's the nuclear submarine dead. I think that might be the way we do this. America has just launched the fourth project. Hmm. Okay. We may be running out of time. It is turn 288, to be fair. Um, but my rocketry site has just finished. So, you know, I'm doing things as well. Stephanie just got used. That's fine. Oh, I missed out on the last great scientist, Sagan. I really wanted Sagan. The Earth satellite. Let's just do this. I, I feel like, wow, this, this game was crazy and the, the zombies were mad and I just feel like I never really got hold of it, which is weird. No, don't start a military emergency. Come on, you declared war on me. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, Pericles is now at war with me as well. Now, I think this game is uh, it's finishing the way that it always intended to with a huge car crash. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry I have a bombard army everybody so panic not um, they may have a field cannon I mean look at this there's just a destroyer parked off my ship galley quick to the rescue oh my god that's a destroyer armada oh no oh no where's my machine guns have I not unlocked machine guns yet I have not I haven't even built an oil power plant yet what is oil <laughs> what and why oh this is my super agent I really need you home there we go. We stole robotics. That's a good steal. Um, he needed to retreat, unfortunately. I need to bring him back because I really, really need the diplomatic visibility back with the cannons. Uh, that ran out a second ago and that's um, really annoying. My galley was destroyed by a nuclear submarine. Oh, no. Oh, no. And there's missile cruisers everywhere. And now the zombies are back and the zombies have a lot of health because somebody not pointing fingers has given them 61 strength <laughs> oh, this game mode's been brilliant but like i have to say like it, it is annoying uh, as much as i've enjoyed it i the, the fact they keep popping up in your land all the time I, i'm finding 
frustrating because they're not a threat. They're just annoying. They keep eating all of your um, trade routes, which is the most annoying thing. That's a missile cruiser that's just doing its stuff. And I think, unfortunately, my bombers can't even hit them very well. No, that's really annoying because they have air defense. Ugh. Okay, yeah, the Armada is hit. Greece has more Armada than anything we've had to come across so far. Gulp. Never mind. I've got field cannons, everybody. My field cannons are just firing at submarines. That's an effective strategy. Yes, patented effective strategy. I was attacking their next city, but my bombers keep having to sort of retreat back a little bit. But you know what? Sod it. I'm pressing ahead with my attack, with what I want to do with my life, and that's go to war. I'm going to keep taking things as best I can. I just missed the animation, but I got the first project into space. I did one thing, everyone. I did one thing. Are you proud of me? <laughs> Are you proud of me? Oh, oof, oof. Okay, yeah, doesn't matter if they're steel walls. When you only have 66 strength in them, they get chopped down quickly. Fascism time though. We have logistics, we have wars of religion, we have third alternative. I would quite like to see what the first and second alternatives are in this game because at the moment none of my alternatives look very good. Oh no. Less war weariness I think has got to be a real thing for me here because I am, I am being shredded all over the place. It is absolutely terrifying. Let's get propaganda in as well. Oh no, Rough Rider wins the World Games. That's a diplomatic victory point. Don't let him do that. Oh, he's on 18 now. Cheeky beggar. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's a good thing he hasn't got the Statue of Liberty. His land is totally like inland, so he's not really doing much of that at the moment. Oh my word, zombies are getting tough. Hello, they're stood on my own walls. They're on the Great Wall, everyone. <laughs> get, get them off. Oh no. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of subs. I'm back enough. I I would rather not see them. I'd rather just not have to look at them, please. Hey, I killed one. Huzzah! Okay, yeah. As soon as my field cannons step outside my cities, they just immediately get wrecked. No, not Kasploosh. Kasploosh is getting killed. Right, come on. We have to make Teddy lose this. Okay. I don't care about anything else. Climate cause, quite frankly, doesn't matter. Artifacts for all I care. Ivory for all I care. Don't give a shite. As long as Teddy doesn't win this, good. He loses two points. Good. Good, 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 good. He's on 17 now. Oh, at least the game is trying in a, in a small sense. What I'm actually hoping is that the AI is going to trip up over themselves. Greece is the one with the melee ship, but he can't get it in because the Kemens have a nuclear submarine just outside. So, you know, you have to disagree amongst yourselves until you can figure out who's going to take the city. Oh, Trajan's now. He's got the exoplanet going as well. They're both moving at one thing per turn. So it's not going to be here for a while. No, my other galley. No. Lost to the Indian Ocean. Oh, you trooper. You absolute trooper. Right, uh, machine gun time. Bam. My, my cities have a small defense now. Ha ha. Take this, you cretins. Oh my god, I'm in the middle of a huge world war here. I do not want to have to keep fighting zombies. Please get stuffed. I mean that in the best possible way. But get stuffed. There we go, my machine guns are really doing some damage now. I managed to kill about three boats that turn. It's not enough though. My bombers just fire over the top of everything. Forget it all exists. We will take another city. It's the last thing I do. Can we take another city before the AI wins? Maybe. They haven't actually finished their last project yet. You know, the ones that speed everything up. So, be interesting to see if they can do it. Oh, Greece! Oh, that's unfortunate timing for you. Oh, dear. Is it that Greece just seems to be really bad at war? Who would have thought? At least I'm not Italy, eh? That's all I can say about that. Listening post. This person is a secret agent, so I get my plus two back. Oh, yeah. That's going to be very helpful. Intel on opponent's movements plus six. Phew. For you, that's all I can say. That is a really, really good thing we've got there. Oh, machine guns being now plopped into our ca uh, machine, you know, into our cities as well. All I need is one flat route open that my cavalry can take. At the moment, it still can. It's running around. It can do that. That's fine. One attack over the top. Yes, these bombers are getting more effective. Two attacks. Three attacks. That's the city taken. If I can just run my cavalry round like so. Bam! It's mine. 
Thank you so much. Oh, yes. There goes the moon landing and gives me a huge culture boost. It's all far too it's late. Isn't it doesn't everything. matter. This is all pointless. <laughs> the world is pointless. Okay, we are just fortifying our position now with our new city. It's all looking good. Uh, I think, however, um, oh, what are we attacking there? Oh, yes. I think I'm attacking the uh, fighters and biplanes in that district. That's cool. Can I just um, bomb that district and get more to move? I like to think I can. Is that going to just bomb the one thing? Yeah, that's the airport. Now I can bomb. There you go. That towel. And then finally I can bomb that towel. Whole thing's broken now. They'll all have to move out. I've lost so much science. They've been pillaging all of my campuses on the coast with their nuclear submarines. It's very clever. This is as accomplished as I've seen the AI in actual war for some time. Look, they've just done it again to my industrial zone. And then because they're using submarines, they've just disappeared. It's, it's so frustrating. But at the same time, I have so much respect. Because it's like, yeah, fair play. You're actually doing it. This is exactly what I would be doing if I was the AI. Uh, I'm not. I'm better than the AI. Well, I say that. I couldn't defeat zombies. This game was an absolute car crash from the very beginning. But still. Oh, look. There you go. Um, oh. Hello. No, no. It was this this out. Oh, yeah. There we go. So everything's broken in the arid field. That's great. So all the planes have flown out to other places. Good. The last place I wanted them was on my front line. Like, having to fight them... Blech. You really need to get back in this war, Aztecs. I, I don't know why you left, but it was really, really annoying because I was losing all sorts of combat strength. Oh, these... Oh, it, it's the nuclear submarines. They're crippling me. 8,000 combat strength Pericles has now. They have... Yeah, this is truly like World War territory going on here. And they just keep hitting my coast over and over and over and over. And the problem with reef campuses the is that they're just so exposed to that... Um, nuclear submarine attack. There's very little I can do. I mean, I, this is the most intense war I've had in a long time, and I'm loving it. Like, it is so much fun. But, oh my god, is it crazily complicated. Right, I'm just sort of using my machine gun so we go. Got a nice kill there. That is the city down to zero health, pretty much. No, my cavalry is not going to move through their encampment, you idiots. Why would I do that? Right, come on. One to there. One to there. Can I get through this way? I can. Do it. Perfect. City's mine. That's another city. We are slowly taking them. It's taking me forever. But we are getting there now. Come on. Peace with Pericles. You know you want it. He doesn't want it because of the emergency. Oh, he doesn't even care about the emergency. He's just taking out a game's worth of frustration on me. I can just tell. Oh, there's the death robot. There is a death robot. Joy, oh joy. Next up, a 19 population city. Okie dokie, we're getting it. We're just, I'm charging. Oh my god, zombies, this is not the time. Not the time. Get out of dodge. Okay, oh, I can just, oh, I can just annihilate their battleships in like one hit now. I think they may have some sort of resource penalty going on there. Uh, nope, no, I just was a very strong range attack. Cool. Okay then, that's that's fine. And you see, when I took this city, I immediately started fixing the walls. Really handy that you do that in the first turn, because if they do any more damage to that city, you can't get away with that. And now, what I'm effectively doing is I'm able to just use the city attacks to defend with, which is awesome. Also, yes, you've got a biplane stationed in that city. Well done. But you're not going to stop the bombers flying in, unfortunately for you. I've got now four of these things. That's doing a lot more damage than it was a second ago. That's brilliant. Okay, I think we can start getting a city every, like, two or three turns. Not that it helps, because these two... I mean, I'm curious to see whether it's going to be America or Rome. No one has boosted their projects yet. That's weird. No idea why they're not. I think they're just so focused on war at the moment, they're not bothering to race it, even though that's what any sensible human player would do. Oh, right, they're getting stuck on all my zombie traps. That's what's happening. Cold War is ah, I did wonder what was going on here. Start moving troops unescorted into my lands, Greece. You're just like the zombies. It's highly annoying. Oh, don't send elephants in. Oh, poor elephants. Okay, good. Now my city strength is just so much higher. I am resisting a lot of this damage. Where are the submarines? Oh, damn it. They are just... They keep breaking everything. And they keep running away. 
It's like, just stop it. I think that is this city now taken to zero health. So the question is, can my cavalry move then? It should be able to attack ineffective though. The cavalry has to be at full health in order to do that. Fine. I kind of understand that. That is probably fair. Okay, well, that is, is, is interesting. We'll just have to hold fire for a second. Take that next turn. Again, please stop just meat grinding your units onto my walls. It's, it's difficult getting all the paint off. You're having to clean up every time, you know? It's, it's, it's very messy. Like, that's that attack. I've actually got to break myself away through again. And my cavalry... Oh, it can actually move past. And now it doesn't say it has an ineffective attack. Now it says that attack is quite all right. So, major defeat meets corporal punishment. In we go. That is ours again. Ha ha ha. ha ha. Perfect stuff. I feel like I am the end game boss on this map, but I've just been unleashed a few turns too late. There's not much I can do. The player's already like so far ahead that my my difficulty rating is just like not high enough. Yeah. There's just not much we could all do about it. Right, come on submarine. I knew you'd be there. Come on, die, 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 die. Oh my god, why won't you die? There we go. Oh, a jet bomber just hit my musketman. Oh my god, actual... <laughs> actual attacks with planes. Oh, I never thought I'd see the day. Okay, basically all that means is that I need to be very careful and leave all my units in districts between turns. Uh, helicopter is, is fun. I've actually got more aluminium now. Let's do that, and then hopefully it'll just survive a little bit better as I mop up other cities. Musket, this is going to be such a rogue attack if this works. It does. It's another one down. Another city. Ugh, we're doing well. We're doing well. It's all for nothing, because someone's about to win, but I'm enjoying this, this late game grind of just unit on unit, just endlessly killing each other. Expert marksman. Nice, that's a really good machine gun now. Suddenly our bombers are having a lot more success now. Two turns to bring a city from absolute full health to nothing. Very good. I've got a commando musket that's jumping along with my helicopter. They're sort of running from city to city, doing the damage. It's all very, very fun. Greece is also backed off now a little bit. They keep sending the odd submarine that I can catch with this sort of like little trick that I found with the machine gun armies but oh that's so unfortunate. I thought we'd just be able to finish that one off but no not to be. But it's okay we've almost got our research labs back up and running now and it makes a huge difference to my science per turn. Massive difference. Yes that's right use your entire navy on the side of my encampment. That's the best thing to do with it. That absolutely is the best thing to do with it. Especially because now I can stand a machine gun army in here and go, Hello friends, a kasploosh, a kasploosh, and just sink an army of battleships. And that was missile cruisers actually, wasn't it? Oh, even better. That attack followed by that attack. That city is now on zero health as well. In comes the helicopter, which is so much tougher. And Wabamo. Nice. Okay, that city is rebelling heavily. Get back in here, you. Oh, and they have a monstrous mech in their capital. That's not their capital. It's 20T population, whatever it is, so it's trouble. But uh, yeah, I can't shoot that at the moment. I'm going to have to go round the side. If this game isn't proving the power of bombers, I don't know what is. I'm so far behind. So far technologically behind. But we are somehow managing to pull ourselves back into this game by the scruff of our necks. It's really good fun. War department. Oh, have I not got war department already? Ugh. I know, I do know why my cities have been under constant siege, but, you know, it's fine. More aerodromes, not on the coast. That's a bad idea, let's put it there instead. Oh, you know what I'm accidentally doing? As I'm taking more of these cities over, I've actually got five cities of Buddhism and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only need to take a couple more cities, and uh, I would actually be following Buddhism right now. <laughs> so I'd accidentally almost give the religious victory to the Kemens. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. That, I think I would rather anything else happened than that happening. They were annoying from like square one of this game. I did just take this city though. Oh hey, that's a nice pickup, especially because now I can hit a missile cruiser. One more city taken. There we go. There we go. 
Oh, I just need a couple of Inquisitor charges and suddenly everything feels a lot better. Oh, I, just, I, I just have this horrible image of me losing a religious victory after taking out all their cities. We're pushing right through though to Angkor Wat. I did not expect us to get this far. Like this, like, this war has been successful. Like, genuinely successful. I'm amazed. That's a jet fighter. We need to be careful of the jet fighter. That could punch a hole in our bombers very, very quickly. Uh, also, what's going on here? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -do. I heard a... Uh, oh. It's the nuke sound and the nuclear submarine sound are always so similar. It always gives me the heebie-jeebies, but in this case, it was not. Oh, a jet bomber just finished. Huzzah! Oh, that thing's powerful. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that means we should be able to go like that. And then our helicopter should be able to just run straight through all the zombies and take the 22 pop city. Oh, that's good. That's a good bit of city. Nom. Military emergency failed against me. Thank you. Right, can we now have peace, please, Greece? Nope, they don't want peace. They literally do not want peace. I don't get Greece. I really, really don't get Greece. Ah, but that's fine. That's fine. So the war department is done. Let's... Uh, the campus is totally pillaged again. I have given Greece so much science accidentally in this game, but you know what? They deserve it. For actually eloquently and ably using units, I will take it. I'm actually having to build aircraft guns as well because the AI keeps throwing um, just all sorts of bombing rounds at me. It's so much fun. I've never actually had to think about a war this much in a long time. Not since we played that, um, in the game we, we took every trade deal. And we ended up playing a game with Dicky where we were just like really, really, really far behind everybody. That was quite fun too. Do you remember from that game that there's a moment where the AI will produce these monstrous mechs, but they won't put the aircraft defenses in so you can bomb them. And, uh, it basically just means that, you know, yes, it's a death robot, but... I mean, it's not going to last long. Oh, whoops. I think I lost a city. When did that happen? Ah. Well, um, that was clumsy of me. It won't last long because my bombers are just so powerful. But, um, I need to be, <laughs> be more careful. Imagine being in that city with three... Oh, no, we're not. For all of that, I actually managed to remove Buddhism's holy city. That, for me, feels like a win. If nothing else in this game does... That feels like a win. So I'm going to call this series here because A, I've clearly lost. Yeah, I, I surrender. The, the AI, I'm just literally, the problem is right now they're not improving the exoplanet expeditions. It's just one light year per turn. I, I should have lost ages ago. It's turn 3T3. The game is taking a little bit of time. This was only supposed to be an update video and I ended up filming this series because <laughs> it ended up being really good fun. And my god. The zombies really do add a challenge to the beginning of the game. Personally, I'm not sure I rate the mode. I, I didn't find it particularly satisfying. The problem is they just keep spawning in and in and in and in and in and in. And yes, I know they keep getting stronger and it's all very exciting and all, but just... I don't know, they're not that good. Like, I can easily kill them. They're, they're really, really, really weak. Um, and they're definitely not getting one strength for every zombie I kill. It must be some ratio, like every two or three zombies, or some percentage chance, or RNG. I don't know what it is, but I really enjoyed this game. I was so far behind. I was a good 100 turns behind. It, I was really pegged in. I really, as I say, I meant to do this as an update video. It ended up being really interesting. I'm really glad I got to see the zombies mode. I hope you all enjoyed seeing it as well. If this hasn't shown you the power of Deity++, I don't know what it is. I don't know what went on with the AI there, not winning the science victory earlier than it did, but it really is warring well. Look at this army from the Aztecs there. That's 6,000 army in that bit. Rome has a fleet worth 10,000, which is just mad, and I love that. I love that to bits, and I love the fact that Rome is at war with America, and they've got giant death robots called the Terrible Hulks, they're not really still... Uh, the problem is it doesn't matter how much you make the AI better. It doesn't attack cities very well. Didn't lose a single city there. And I'm really glad I got to use this great ball to keep the Kemens back. But I must crack on. This wasn't supposed to be a full series and I have tons of stuff to fit around work. So I must depart. If you liked this sort of game with the zombies, let me know. If there's enough likes and traction and comments and all the good stuff, I can probably do something again. It's felt good, to be fair. I enjoyed it. I always enjoy a game where I'm having to sort of come from behind a little bit. And as I say, I'm pretty proud that A, I managed to not lose the game to religion. Uh, I've managed to really keep my religion alive. I love this yellow purple thing, by the way. That's awesome. Or yellow pink. It's really, really cool. But 
I'm really also pleased we were going to take Angkor Tom next turn, but the turns are taking forever to load at the moment for whatever reason. We must depart. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next series where I have something very fun planned. Until then, bye! And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Davalex, Trefford Askby, Paul Coffey, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, and Matthew Hatch. For all of your support and for everybody that generally helps the channel to thrive, thank you all very much. See you next time.